Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here, and I just want to talk about the recent launch of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. For those of you who stayed up to watch the live stream, you know, it was very, very terrible quality. It was just skipping, even on Twitch as well. Terrible, terrible live stream. But let's just talk about the news that has been broken. They're actually going to sell this beast at, would you believe, 699 USD, the same price. They sold a GTX 1080 at, which is left me pretty gossmacked. I was expecting around 900 or even 850 USD, and they've undercut that by quite some margin. Not only that, they've actually reduced the current 1080 to 499 USD, and that's where it should have been sold. We all know that, but you know, when there's no competition, um, companies take liberties, and they've been able to get away selling the GTX 1080 for. 700 USD for almost a full year now and now that they've got its uh, replacement they've been able to sell it at a price that they should have been selling it so that's just how um, Nvidia operate and um, which is why they probably make so much money as well but let's not get into that because that's a completely different argument let's talk about the specs 12 billion transistors 1.6 gigahertz boost and 2 gigahertz overclocking capability so nothing new there but what gave me um, quite quite an eye raiser was the 3584 CUDA cores that's exactly the same that's on the Titan X same TMUs a slight reduction in the ROPS 8 units less and 1 gigabyte less in memory and they're both using GDDR5X that's almost half the price guys I mean I'm not going to knock Titan X owners Titan X owners they buy that card because they have not only do they have the money to buy it but they've been enjoying the privilege for what seven months seven to eight months more earlier than the people that are going to buy the GTX 1080 Ti so I'm not knocking the Titan X owners they knew they knew this was coming and you know this is even more of a close um, battle compared to the 980 Ti and the Titan X because at least with the Titan X it had 12 gigabytes versus the 6 gigabytes of the you know the GTX 980 Ti but now there's only a 1 gigabyte difference in terms of VRAM and um, you know you get higher core clocks out of the gate slightly lower TDP so hopefully lower temps as well um, it's crazy it's crazy what they've done I think Nvidia are being a bit more aggressive than usual because of the possibility of AMD's Vega 10 um, potential and Vega 11 so I believe the small Vega will be battling the 1080 and the big Vega will be battling the, the 980 well the 1080 Ti sorry so um, it's gonna have to make AMD think about their pricing now um, they don't need to worry about contending with the Titan X anymore they need to be worried about contending with the GTX 1080 Ti at this price point it's certainly more um, acquirable by uh, more people I personally, I know you guys want to want to know what I think about it. Obviously, I personally own two GTX 1080s, which I've recently water cooled. Um, as much as this gave me a bit of pause, I will not be buying a GTX 1080 Ti. I am very very happy with my current setup, considering I only have a 60 hertz um, 4K monitor. So, what I'm going to do in the future is try and get a 144 hertz 4K. Um, high, dyna high dy dynamic range monitor and um, probably a Volta or Pascal GPU so that's my plan I'm gonna sit on my 1080s for now and uh, but I am still interested in the benchmarks I've been told well I've heard that this will be available next week actually so in almost seven days you'll be able to get your hands on a GTX 1080 Ti so awesome stuff another thing to note as well is the founders edition is at six ninety nine, so possibly you may even be able to get one cheaper um, than that. So we'll have to see. But um, amazing stuff. They've also made some improvements to the GeForce experience. They've added um, shadow play highlights. They've also tweaked the architecture slightly. 
you know, there's a lot of stuff they've done, not only just releasing the card itself. I don't want to go into it. You should really watch the conference itself if you want to know the details. But I just wanted to give you my quick thoughts on the launch. Um, very, very aggressive pricing, in my opinion. I was expecting a lot more. Very, very com um, aggressive specs as well, because one gigabyte less, same amount of CUDA cores, and, you know, GDDR5X, same memory type as well. So we have to say um, it's going to be pretty much neck and neck between the Titan X Pascal and the GTX 1080 Ti. They are claiming it's the fastest um, GeForce card available, but, you know, that's because they call the Titan. They don't class the Titan X as a GeForce card. That's the only that's the only difference there is there. So it's interesting to see what the benchmarks will be. Um, they do have. I've got to find the chart. Sorry, I'm going through this a bit too quickly. But they do have some in-house um, charts to kind of show you the the performance between the two cards. I don't know if it's on this slide. I was looking at a few um, articles previously. So. Um, it's not on this one unfortunately if I do find it I made it yeah here it is so game performance they do like 1x 1.123 so they're saying this is roughly to 35 to at the top end 40% faster than a regular GTX 1080 so it's good performance and definitely you know very very decent for the price this is gonna make um, 4k gaming a lot more accessible for a lot of people so those are my thoughts guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.